everybody, Trevor here, and I'm back in my normal pony avatar. And for today's video, we'll be discussing the top 5 worst reboots slash spin-offs I've ever seen in my entire life. For this list, I'm only going to include cartoon TV shows and no movies. I also won't be counting any continuations of the previous eras such as CGI Fireman Sam, which is supposed to be part of the mainline series. So without wasting any more time, let's take a closer look at these god-awful reboots, shall we? Number 5. Veggie Tales in the House When I first saw a teaser image for this, I was creeped out on how the characters looked. I mean, look at them! Look at their eyes! They look like they want to stare right into my freaking soul! And not only that, but they replaced certain characters like Mr. Nezer with Ikabezer because they thought Mr. Nezer was a bit racist, which isn't true by the way. And the show itself doesn't have any Christian values whatsoever. How disappointing is that? But thankfully, the series on Netflix ended and was replaced by a revival called The VeggieTales Show, which is a continuation to the original, which explains why this is number 5. But it was too good to last. The new producers fired the original voice actors and replaced them with crappy ones that barely sound like the originals. Again, how disappointing is that? All in all, the original VeggieTales from my childhood will always hold a special place in my heart, even as a Christian. And I suggest you stay away from VeggieTales in the house, as well as this podcast series with the new voice actors. Number 4 is Thundercats Roar. This is the secondary reboot of the original Thundercats from the 1980s, which I have grown up with on Cartoon Network. What makes this the worst reboot of the franchise is not only the cheap animation, but also the out-of-character characters with their annoying personalities, especially with lion -O. I mean, good god, what did they do to lion -O? In the original series, lion -O was a smart and brave leader of the Thundercats, but here, he's so freaking annoying, not to mention that his sword is out of proportion. If you want more information on this, I suggest you watch Mr. Enter's review on it, as well as Bob Show's review on it as well, trust me, they're worth your time. I swear, this makes the 2011 reboot look good in comparison. So in conclusion, I'd stay away from Thundercats Roar and watch the original 80s cartoon by Rankin Bass instead. Number 3. Velma To be honest, I used to be a huge fan of Scooby-Doo when I was younger, and I still kind of am today. But nowadays, the franchise is just tiresome. But hey, I still enjoy the original series from 1969, as well as What's New Scooby-Doo, which in my opinion is the best spin-off of Scooby-Doo. But when it comes to bad spin-offs or reboots of Scooby-Doo, my least favorite will always be Velma. I thought the live-action Scooby-Doo movies were bad, then I thought Beast Cool Scooby-Doo wasn't all that great, and then I thought Scoo from 2020 was quite forgettable. But boy, oh boy, does Velma take the cake. Never mind the fact that she's race swapped into an Indian person. But I can't get over the fact on how she's portrayed here. It's just so unpleasant and very unlikable. I mean, the way she treats people and her friends, including Daphne and Fred, is just extremely wrong. I mean, this is not how Velma should act. Also, where's Scooby-Doo? You can't have a Scooby-Doo spin-off without him. Oh wait, it's all because of the producers at Warner Brothers and Mindy Kaling, isn't it? <laughs> Not to mention that Shaggy was replaced by Norville. No offense to anyone who likes woke stuff, but... I find that hypocritical because when you race swap a certain character, that automatically means you're racist. And you could be anti-white too, which is also offensive. If you want to have diversity in your shows, that's fine. But don't race swap or gender swap already existing characters. Otherwise, it'd be weird and offensive. But hey, the only good things about the show were when Velma either gets beat up by some people or gets hit by a police car. Yeah, serves her right for being a complete douchebag. Overall, Velma is the worst Scooby-Doo reboot slash spinoff I've ever seen in my entire life. 
It just makes the previous spinoffs like Be Cool Scooby-Doo look gold in comparison. So yeah, fuck this show, and fuck Mindy Kaling. But in all seriousness, I think this adult spinoff or reboot could have worked if it had better writing, characters, and execution. Not to mention that they should have added in the real Scooby-Doo and Shaggy rather than being replaced by certain characters. Number 2. The Powerpuff Girls 2016 Boy oh boy, where do I start with this one? When I first saw a teaser picture of this, I was pretty excited that the Powerpuff Girls were coming back in a new reboot. In fact, I was expecting it to be overall good, but after watching a few episodes, I cringed. First of all, there was this one episode called Painbow, where Blossom and Bubbles were twerking on camera for the first time. Not only that this is weird and uncomfortable, but it's really disgusting. This is not how little girls should act. Secondly, most of the humor is atrocious. There were times where they weren't really trying to be funny anymore. For example, they frequently used outdated memes like the No Me Gusta one, which is actually the No face. This is what the No Me Gusta face looks like. Another bad thing about this show is most of the new villains. While some are kind of interesting like Man Boy, while others are either ripoffs of classic villains or just wasted potential. Why not just reuse the old villains instead? And furthermore, they didn't bother rehiring the original voice actresses for the Powerpuff Girls. The new replacements sound horrible. But hey, at least they still had Tom Kenny, Tom Kane, and all those other old voices from the past as their respective characters. But you can tell that a few of them are out of practice. The reason this is number two is because unlike most reboots that try to be retellings of their previous incarnations, this one can't even make up its mind whether it wants to be a reboot or a continuation of the original. So all in all, this is my second least favorite reboot of all time because of these reasons alone. In fact, I think it's far worse than Teen Titans Go in terms of voice acting, humor, and animation. I say stay away from it at all costs. Now before I get to my number one pick, I just want to give a couple dishonorable mentions. Bob the Builder 2015. I honestly thought this reboot had the potential to be good, if it had better writing, direction, and characters, that is. The only thing I like about it is the interesting voice cast especially Claire Corlett as Dizzy. And besides, I grew up Bob the Builder a long time ago, so I don't care whether this gets rebooted again or not. Teen Titans Go. It had the potential to be really good if the producers didn't bother insulting the older fans and stuff. And besides, it got beat out by Thundercats Roar and Pop of Girls 2016. And my number one choice is obviously... Thomas and Friends, All Engines Go. I know I've rented this numerous times on my channel, but I'll try to keep it brief here. The animation is terrible, the character designs are unnecessary, too much bouncing, horrible in writing direction, terrible voice acting, particularly with the kid actors, and not staying true to the source material. There, I summed that up. But the real reason why this is number one on my list is because not only it destroyed my childhood, even more so than the Sharon Miller and Big World Big Adventures eras, but also because it has the least reason to exist. There's no reason to make this, and there's no reason to watch this. I honestly can't see how anyone can like or enjoy this show, aside from a few aspects. For example, some people could say that this show could work if it was a spin-off series rather than a reboot. But still, they should have continued where Season 24 left off, as well as some elements from Season 20, like the Earl's Railway Museum. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry for sounding like a broken record, guys. I just had to get this thing off my chest once again. I mean, this reboot has been giving me a lot of migraines lately. And not to mention that we haven't gotten any new information on Wooden Railway 2023 lately, aside from the Dale with Thomas item with the paint splats. Anyways, let me know down below on which reboots are your least favorite. Do you agree with my list, or have you seen worse? This is Trevor the Blue Pony, and I'm going to take another nap. <laughs>